fun tonight, and Robert Sherman's live in Miami as well. We hope finding some fun with a cool day today. Bama great Sean Alexander inducted into the Orange Bowl Hall of Fame. A big day for him, Robert. Good evening. Good evening, Jack. The legendary Alabama running back. He played in the Orange Bowl back in 2000, had 165 yards, three scores, and today he was inducted into Orange Bowl history. One day before the epic clash of the Tide and the Sooners, the annual Orange Bowl Coaches Luncheon was held. Five college football icons were enshrined into the Orange Bowl Hall of Fame, one of which was Alabama's own Sean Alexander. Yeah, you know, this has been just, uh, it's just been special. You know, who, whoever thinks about actually getting to the Hall of Fame for anything, what you do is you just think about playing well and, um, and doing stuff that's special on the field and um, to get accolades from it, that's really sweet. From Musso to Humphrey, Alabama's... At the 2000 Orange Bowl against Michigan, Alexander rushed for 165 yards and three scores. And even though the Tide suffered a heartbreaking 35-34 to loss off of a missed extra point, Alexander says that the 2000 Orange Bowl still holds many great memories. The two things that pop in my mind is, is the, the specialness of this, of this game. And then, of course, that, that quarterback that everybody found in Michigan that night. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sweet. It's, it's great memories all the way around. Yeah, that young quarterback from Michigan, I think his name was Tom Brady, if I remember right. But today, it wasn't just Alabama that had all the fun. Oklahoma, they had a representation as well. Former head coach for them, Bob Stoops, he was inducted into the Orange Bowl Hall of Fame. You also had several other great players that received induction invitations as well. So it was really a great day of honoring so much great college football talent. We're live in Miami. Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. A big day, Robert. Thanks. Don't forget, another big night of coverage is ahead on CBS 42.